cool. Hello, my name is Phoenix Axel. If you didn't know that, then you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get to know me better and you never miss a video. Um, today, this vlog is like a little different. I'm do going at it at a different speed than what I normally do, and I'm a little excited um, just to see how this works and if you see if you guys like it. kind of wanted to go at it at more of a um, storytelling kind of way, just because I've realized that most of my vlogs aren't good. I don't like them. I do like looking back at it. And um, this vlog specifically, there's a lot that happens that I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page with it. So I just, I need to put like something here. Kind of want to put the pictures here or something like, um, like move these pictures down or something. Need more stuff over here. You know, I like, I, I might put a little like Phoenix corner or some shit like that. Anyway, I went to Riot Fest. If I don't tell you about it, if I don't detail what happened, this video isn't gonna make sense, okay? All right, cool, great. So starting the day off, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I absolutely hated my outfit. Good morning, I see my chemical romance today and I hate my outfit, so. My outfit pissed me off. Mesh shirt, shorts, <laughs> shorts. Additionally, here is my Little homecoming king sash. This looks cute. Okay, the Vax is very much alive. Didn't know what to wear. Felt. Does this does this help and or look better? No, but I needed it. Didn't like I knew what to wear. I had an outfit planned, and the day that I put it on was the day of the concert. And I just I sat there and was like, this is really what I'm wearing to see my chemical romance. This is what I'm wearing to my chemical romance? I was struggling. Struggling. Okay, okay. Glad we're on the same page with that. I went and got Starbucks, like, to for breakfast food, and it was honestly the only thing that I ate that day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, what I learned was that Riot Fest food and drinks was so expensive for no reason and part of me was like well duh like it's literally a festival no i went to Lollapalooza. i got like chicken tenders like good ass chicken tenders and fries for six bucks split it with my mom to me a piece of pizza at riot fest was fifteen dollars there was so little food there i like <laughs> beer was more accessible than water than food i just okay i'm getting ahead of myself so i get my starbucks i get a pumpkin loaf and a mango dragon fruit refresher without the lemonade because i can't have lemonade and i go and try to find my parking spot now let me tell you i i reserved a parking spot like in advance because i was like you know I, parking apparently sucks here and rightfully so it is a residential area I, it baffles me that like we can't do it anywhere else in chicago we have to disrupt these people's lives for the weekend could not find the parking space at all i paid seven bucks for it it's like fine whatever let me drive around bunch of places say no event parking no event parking i'm like great I pull into this one place that does not say event parking the guy immediately fucking yells at me he's like you can't park here i'm like all right then let me pull out so I start pulling out, he pauses traffic for me, but I can't see him because I'm literally trying to look to make sure that I'm not coming. And as I'm like looking, I see this car, it stopped. He's like yelling. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I can't focus on two things at once. He fucking is because, lady, come on. Never in my life have I wanted to hit a man more. I did yell at him. He gives me very blatant direction, like very, very like, turn up that street, go, go that way. So I speed off, literally fucking zooming while he's giving me directions. I go zero to 45 in about four seconds. That is so slow. Zero to 45 in about half a second, I go vroom. My car, you know, I'm like crying. I'm already having a panic attack. I like, this has taken so much more time than I wanted it to. I'm sobbing. Finally, like this guy, I pull into this lot and it's 40 bucks. I'm like, fine, whatever. I, there are other people pulling in it is fine like this looks like a decent lot remember that i was one of the first people to pull into this lot okay that is key important information for later all right all right i get 
in the line like i'd walk about two blocks to get into the line to get into riot fest and i'm like there's not a second exit keep that in mind as well only one exit like as i'm walking i have my mask on and my sunglasses because i'm still crying anyway i get I, so i'm walking into the vip section because i did have a vip band they don't check my bag they don't like do a thorough security check perplexing because um you don't have to have a clear bag so i was like this is a little it's a little scary okay but immediately as i get in i'm like i should go find kennedy because i'm alone this weekend so i should go find kennedy and like we already planned to spend the weekend together it's fine it's whatever so i went and found kennedy and immediately after we went and saw ellis dunes and they were so good guys guys I go after I see Ellis Dunes I go and get in a merch line I'm gonna draw a little map for you guys because tell me why the only place to get artist merch was located at the entrance slash exit the line was so long that I was perplexed I waited in line for an hour and a half I got my merch I went I met my friend I met up with Kennedy at the stage that MCR was going to be at later in the day, and we actually had, like, a really good spot. Like, throughout the day, we got a little bit closer, a little bit closer. It was so good. Like, I watched, we watched one set, and then I went, I got food. Um, I waited in line for 45 minutes to get, trying to figure out if I wanted a slice of pizza and an icy, or if I just wanted the icy because the icy was $8 Italian ice. And the woman in front of me turned around and fainted into me. Keep in mind, they did have free water there. And I was like, okay, this is good. Like, I, they have free water. This is nice. Um, that line was an hour long toward the end of the day. You're kidding. There was one free water place and it was located at the end of the park. I get my icy. I get back up to where my, where Kennedy is and our other little group. We are... 10 rows from Barricade. We're, two in here. We're near the front too. I feel dead. I feel nothing. I feel like 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 God gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers. And, and that's I'm, us. And I'm one of them. Alright. Now there's a big difference between the beginning of Taking Back Sunday's set and my end of Taking Back Sunday's set. I want to use this as a prop, so I'm just gonna sit with this for a little bit. Taking Back Sunday's set. It definitely was. I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely existed during Taking Back Sunday. Um, existed maybe too much, okay? Don't know what to do, 
At some point, someone in the middle of the crowd decided that they were more important than everybody else and had to move up. Uh, From what I have heard, there are reports of people just yelling, push, and moving up. Um, There was a man next to my friends who was just full on punching people in the face. Like, not like mosh pit, but like full on punching people. And I was like, "Mm, we need security, right? Security wasn't doing anything. Riddle me this. What is security's job then? I'm claustrophobic. We're getting pushed up. There's a man punching someone. Security is being called and they are not taking out the right person. Now you may be thinking, Phoenix, are you going to say to be or not to be right now? And you would be correct. To be or not to be. That is the question. I need to put this down. So like security was taking out the wrong people because why would they take out the right people? Also, we kept calling for medics. I watched about 15 people go down around me. It was baffling and they, taking back Sunday did not interact with the crowd at all. The one time they did was they were like, oh, they're asking us to take off, take it off, take it off. That's what they're asking. Oh no, back it up. Okay, can you guys take like one baby step back, please? Can you like do it for me? You want to take one step back for me, please? (laughs) And this isn't who you are. Come on, guys. Like I am holding up Kennedy. Someone is holding me up. I'm like 60 degrees like this. Like at one point my feet were off of the ground and it was literally just like a wave. Like everybody was... I remember holding up a older woman. I don't know if she was the mom of this person, but like I remember holding her up, looking at her and going, do you need to get out of here? And she's like, no, I don't. I'm okay. I'm okay. Like I thought I was going to go down. I'm all right. I was like, okay. I had a panic attack at some point in the crowd and i was like i have to get out of here looked at my friend i said i'm getting out you don't have to leave but like if you want to you can but like please don't feel like you have to leave i push my way up i'm pushing my way up i get to barricade i look at this person i say i'm getting the fuck out of here you need to move i look at security i go get me out of here he goes all right turn around I've never been lifted off a barricade before. I am not lie to you. Like, in the moment, it was a horrifying situation. Like, I never want to have to do it again. But it was a little, like, it's kind of, like, <laughs> a little funny looking back at it that I was like, get me out of here. And he was like, turn around. I was like, okay, thanks. Um, I sh- I very, very shakenly, like, shakingly shaken. I walked to the medic tent. And the woman at the medic tent was like, have you had anything to eat today? And I was like, yes probably not enough, but yes, I have. She's like, all right, I'm going to give you this bottle of water. And boy, oh boy, have I never been so excited in my life to have something cold. It was so cold and so, so beautiful going down my throat. Never been so happy to have cold water in my life. Also to feel a little bit of breeze on my body. Cause that's the other thing. The Taking Back Sunday set was so hot. Honestly, I would have stayed next to the medic tent for the next hour. I'm, I'm not calling a lie to you. I was like so terrified. I was like, I don't want to go out there. I don't want to go out there. I don't want to go out there. But then I was like, mm, I kind of romance. So I was like kind of weighing my options. But I went from 10 rows back to literally being the, one of the furthest people back. Which, you know, is fine. Like it was for my safety. So safety, my chemical romance, you know, there's sacrifices to be made here and there. My chemical romance's set was honestly, I don't remember much. So while I was um, still shaking, I was like, L- I, I don't know who else I know that is here that I would be okay standing with and that they would be okay with letting me stand with them. So texted Robin. I was like, dude, mm, do you want to meet up like two days early? Let me stand with you. I don't know if you can. He was like, mm, no. And I was like, all right. He didn't say no, but like, I was like, I don't really want to bother him. That's where I was. And I was like, well... I don't know anybody else that's here. I knew that my mother would be happier if I was with someone and even more happy if I was with someone that I that she knew. Uh, that didn't happen. You win some, you lose some, and she lost that day. Anyway, so I'm like trying to find a good spot to see. Spoiler alert, I didn't, so I wasn't able to see, but you know, it's fine. We all make sacrifices and I was just sacrificing a lot. I hear this person next to me, this guy, it was two guys and a girl, 
and one of the guys was like you're shorter than me why don't you go in front of me and she was like no i'm fine and i was like can i can i go in front of you because like i'm also short and he was like yeah do you want to go in front of us we're tall as shit do you want to get in front can i come in front of you guys please yeah, thank you so much do you want to stand by us the whole concert? Like, you are alone. And I was like, yes, I am. Thank you for observing. Like, you're very good at observing. Are you by yourself? Yeah. We will protect you. There I, will be a crutch. I got pulled out during Taking Back Sunday. <laughs> so. Oh, shit, yeah. You're winning two for two here. Alone, short. Bam. You got it. The, like, they were all like, yes, like, you're alone. Like, it's fine. Like, you can, you can come stand with us. We're not going to leave the whole concert. And part of me was like, well, I could get kidnapped here. But also, there's a lot of people around me. And, um... I don't have much to lose. I do. I have a lot to lose. The one thing that I remember this guy saying to me, I don't remember what he looked like. I don't remember what the second guy looked like either. I know he had a beard. That's. A, I also know he only knew two songs, and that's fine. Like I like, but the guy, he was like, "How old are you?" Wait, how old are you? I'm 17. Oh, Wait a minute. <laughs> so you've only ever known them as being broken up? Yeah, I was eight when they broke up. My guy. However, he did hold my phone up for me uh, to record the first verse and chorus of Foundations of the K. This is the second time that I've let someone hold my phone at a concert to record. In, like, retrospect, like, I really should not do that. Like, I really, really, really should not do that. Again, how much do I have to lose? My phone. That would actually, that's the one. But concert starts, losing my mind, absolutely just going at it. Fucking, yes, Ray Doro! Fuck it up, Mikey Way! Uh, at one point, I did turn to the person next to me and I said, Is Gerard wearing a dress? Is that a dress? I learned later he was wearing heels. Heels. He was wearing heels. He wore heels. And you know what? He looked so fucking good in them. Oh my fucking god. Nevertheless, I did have my moments um, where, in retrospect, I should have just shut up. Like a uh, boy division. The transgenderism in me really came out during Mama. <laughs> After every single song, Gerard was like, can you back up? Back up. Back up. And nobody around me was backing up. And I was like, guys, he's asking that. He's technically talking to us, too. Because if we move back, then they can move back. Then the band will be happier. I felt like I like, disappointed a parent. Guys, I wish that I could be like, hey, guys, like I'm really sorry for disappointing you. I feel so bad. Because, like, they were just, like, it's like a reason to be nervous. Like, people are getting crushed and painting that being said we did get an impromptu um ending of cancer <sighs> never in my life have i cried harder um not even when i watched uh tony and pilots play uh redecorate i get out of i like i get out like actually really easily like i'm concert ends at 10 i'm in my car 10 20 but I get back to that lot. It is wall-to-wall -wall cars. Remember how I said that I was one of the first cars in there? I was paying the price for that now. It's really, I really got my 40 bucks out of this, okay? I spent basically 12 hours in that parking lot. So then I'm just waiting in this parking lot for 40 minutes, 30 minutes. I waited 30 minutes in that parking lot. And then someone tapped on my window and I rolled down like the smidge because like you're not supposed to really roll down your window, but I rolled it down like a little bit and I was like, yes. And it was this woman. She's like, you can pull out. Are you ready to leave? Are you ready to leave? And I was like, yeah. She's like, all right, I'll help you pull out. And I was like, okay. And it was very nice. Like I, I, almost all of my experiences with people that weekend were incredibly nice. When I was getting merch, I stood in line with these two guys and while they were annoying, um, it was nice to at least complain about how long the line was. And one of the guys was wearing a Beastie Boys shirt. And I was like, oh my god, the Beastie Boys. Oh, also, 
people kept staring at my sash, but this one person came up to me. I wrote very much alive on my neck this morning. It's like already kind of come off, but like your sash looks so cool and I would totally buy it. Like if you were like making them and so I was like, oh, I could like potentially make these. I probably won't, but like if that person did hit me up and was like, how much you want for a sash? I would be like, what do you want to say? Hello and good morning. Today is Sunday, September 18th and I don't feel too great. You know, I don't feel that good, but it's all right. I don't feel super sick. I just feel gross. Okay, cool. Believe it or not, Sunday was a crazier day um, emotionally and just like, not physically, because I, I got to Riot Fest uh, around 1 p.m. Uh, retrospect, probably my best idea walked around for a little bit i filled up my water because there wasn't really a line honestly i filled up my water at a good time too because um the line got really long really fast but i did see that um there was now an exit sign uh in very open view because apparently on friday there wasn't an exit sign and so people created their own exit because there was only one exit. Remember how I said there was only one exit? Glad we're on the same page. The other thing was that the merch line was now curved. The merch line was curved away from the entrance and was easier to get into. Anyway, so I listened to Joey Valance and Bray and they remind me of the Beastie Boys and I'm so obsessed with them right now. I love, I just, oh my God. Stop making people wanna be Eminem. Make more people wanna be like the Beastie Boys because holy, so I was waiting for Kennedy. And then I found her. I should probably go to her. Kennedy! Kennedy. <laughs> and we... Oh, we did a little, uh... Riot Fest had these, um, photo booths. So we did a photo booth, and it was really cute and really fun. Kennedy and I just took pictures in the photo booth! <laughs> yeah! Right the middle one! <laughs> Damn. And we also, so we went and got water. We got three bottles of water. And I was like, oh, I have these vouchers. We should use one of the vouchers. So we give the guy the voucher and he's like, oh, we can only use these in VIP. And Kennedy's like, oh, well then let me, let me get the money. He was like, no, it's fine. Just take it. We got a bottle of water for free. I'd rather pay. Well, actually we got one of them free, even though. Yeah. I'm with Kennedy. Hi. We're, sl we're slaying away. We, we got a water for free. Thank you, guy at water table. Honestly, we should have. You know, good for us. We go over and we try and find a seat around where Midtown the Academy is. We're playing that night. We had one mission that day, and that was to get as close as we possibly fucking could to see Midtown the Academy is. And we did really fucking well, if you ask me, okay? Okay, my attire for the day, desk jacket, desk shirt, skirt. Also, oh my gosh, quick little sidetrack, because if, if I don't explain this, it won't make sense. The tag music Twitter account manager? Person who is on there most often, Karina. I said, Karina, can I make you a bracelet? Because you're at Riot Fest. I'm at Riot Fest. We have this in common. She said, yes. I said, perfect. So I made a bracelet. We have matching bracelets. I will not be showing you because you don't need to know that information. I don't need to disclose that to you. Okay, great. I was like, okay, I gotta get this. I gotta get this bracelet to Karina. Like, I have to. Like, this is my personal mission for the day. Like, we have our main mission, and this is my little side mission over here, okay? I have two side missions. We will get to the second one in a second. So we sit, we're waiting, like, we get, kind of get some food, like, I'm, like, chilling, it's all good. There's this one band that's, like, huge that's playing. It was kind of crazy, like, it was, like, full to the brim. I was like, damn, like, we are not going to be able to move up, like, we are going to have to watch Midtown the Academy is from here, all the way back here where we can't see. And then everybody left. And we got side barricade. Yay! So we watched Paris set, and they were good. Um... I, I didn't know them or anything. I got a couple of videos, you know, because why not? They were good. I enjoyed them. And we had, like, back barricade. We were, like, all the way in the back. It's like, cool. We still have barricade. Like, this is still good. And then more people leave. 
and we move up. We moved up in the world. Yay! And then Gabe Saporta walks out on stage. When I tell you that I've never, ever been so intimidated by someone. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Game support is really intimidating. And that's the only thing I'm gonna say on that matter. A side side mission, this is our third side mission to the side mission to the side mission, um, was getting videos for Dest. You know who Dest is. I don't have to explain this to you, okay? Dest jacket, Dest shirt, you remember? All of a sudden I watched Dest jacket that he made for Gabe be placed on um, a thing. I don't remember what it was exactly called. Uh, on the side stage. I called it. I knew that. I knew that Gabe was gonna bring the f-ing jacket. I told Dest, and he told me no. When I said you're a liar, and he did. He brought the jacket. So I was right. Dest was wrong. <laughs> so much has <laughs> so much has just happened, guys. Um, like literally fucking shaking. Um. Gabe apparently knows that he and I are both wearing Dest Originals. <laughs> what? Yeah, so since I'm on side barricade, I'm like, oh, I wonder if, like, Karina's gonna see me. I was like, ah, oh, Karina, like, there's Karina. And Kennedy was like, Tsh, like, call out to her. And I was like, no, that's scary. I don't want to do that. I don't want to embarrass myself right now. Please don't make me do that. Guys, Gabe wore the jacket for a split second, like, showed it off. He was like, yeah. I was like, Yeah. Yeah! Screaming my little head off like I felt felt very proud of Dest right there. Okay. So we watched Midtown set. I don't listen to Midtown. They were good though. I thoroughly enjoyed their set. Um, they were very fun to watch. Like just taking it all in. I couldn't really see like stage left, but all of them look so cool. Like I would just specifically move over to see. And I was like, oh my god, it looks so cool. I'm just gonna play this video for you and do a little bit of transcribing at the bottom because cut, it's like why not? Yeah. To this jacket. <laughs> One of our fans made this. They drew this by hand, Dustin, you know. Shout out. Yo, turn around, bro. See why I was excited? Glad we're on the same page. So after Midtown set was the main, they were really good. Like I, I don't listen to the main. Never ever like I heard of them, but I didn't like hear of them. You know? Oh, I've definitely heard of that name before. Like Chase Atlantic. Heard of that? Don't know what it is. Okay. Why was Chase Atlantic my first thought? But so where I am in Barricade, because I've also moved up a little bit more since Midtown. I'm like, wow, like I'm like really close to the stage. Like this is crazy. I look to my left and I'm like, oh, there's Gabe Saporta. Again? Fine, whatever. Men can also chill, I suppose. Guys, the main was so good though. Like their lights, and they like had such good crowd control. I was like, damn. The main set ends. Side mission. Number two, we're going back to my side missions, all right? My second side mission was to find Robin. Because we agreed that we were going to meet up for Riot Fest on Sunday. And I wasn't going to let that not happen. And you know what? We made it happen, okay? It was a lot of very last minute, hey, are you right here? Can you come to right here? Can you, like, figure it out? And, like, me? and I was like, yes, I will come find you. Guys, it happened. It's, it's, it's Phoenix actually. It's, it's Phoenix PNG meetup. I love that guy. He is one of my favorite people. <laughs> Double thumbs up for Robin. Okay. I go back. I meet up with my friend for the Academy is. Well, here we are. <laughs> guys. Guys, I don't know that many of the Academy is songs. I know more than Midtown. I don't know any Midtown songs. I know four no okay hold on i gotta do some math here okay i know two songs but i know the beginning to like four songs and i think that's still participation jumping i was screaming i was going i was doing it i was like yeah and i 
I'm looking over and I'm like, huh, like, there's Gabe, there's Karina, oh, like, I wish I could get my bracelet to her, like, whatever, like, it's fine, like, whatever, okay. And then I got a text from Robin. He goes, I can see you. <laughs> now don't, 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 don't come in here telling me that right now while I'm at my most vulnerable state. And what I have started playing is a little game called Where Can You See Phoenix at the Sunday Riot Fest Pictures. <laughs> Anyway, so I took a couple of videos of Robin actually too because I was like, look, there's Robin. And it's a lie. I took one video. I was like, look, it's Robin. So the Academy has went over by a couple minutes of their set. They were supposed to be done at like 9.30. It was like 9.45. Not that's a lie. 9.40. It's like, okay, maybe they'll still do the encore of Bring It On. Snakes on a plane. And I can see Mr. Supporta standing off to the side in desk jacket. I was like, he's going to wear it. Like, he's going to wear it. He has to wear it on stage. Like, this is how this is going to go. And then the crew started packing up. <laughs> I was like, oh, guess they're not playing sex on a plane. But like, I mean, I listened to that song so that I make sure that I at least knew some of the words because I never listened to that song. I was very much a poser that day. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, wow, music. Woo. I said my goodbyes to Kennedy. This wraps up Riot Fest. Oh, wait. Stop it. I love doing this with you. This was so funky. I, guys, I'm gonna cry. Also, I forgot to mention, Midtown liked my story. Midtown liked my story. They, they liked, they like, okay, we gotta see how much they saw. <laughs> we have school tomorrow. At least you have a late start. No, I, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, wait, no, you don't. I lied. I have to start at 7 a.m. I have to take a shower. Guys, there is dirt in my nostrils. I'm like black, like it is black. I am so uncomfortable. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. Dude. And I went home. And here I am, a week later. I saw my chemical romance a week ago. Why am I in this fing accent? Overall, um, if Riot Fest continues, I don't think I'll ever go back. It definitely was a one-time experience thing, and I'm glad that I saw it the year that it did. But I'm also glad that I paid for it two years ago, and by now have already made back all that money. Um, yeah. Can you tell that I've been watching a lot of commentary videos? Guys, I got obsessed with Mike's mic for a little while. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below anything else that you want to see. Your thoughts and opinions on whole Riot Fest thing, um... Hope you enjoyed this video. It'll probably be a while before the next one. I'm not going to lie to you. So, see you in a future video. Bye.